Hi, this is Merkin B8i. Um, right now I'm playing with the, uh, the FT950 by Yezu, and uh, I put the IF2000 card in that I discussed in the previous video. Uh, it's basically an interface card that ties uh, via a BNC connector to this box over here, which is called the LP Pan by a company named uh, Telepost.com, or just do a search for LP Pan. Uh, that ties to the uh, M Audio Firewire interface, which ties to my computer down here, and I get this beautiful display. Um, it's actually kind of cool. Uh, it's a piece of software called Power SDR IF Stage, uh, is the official name for it, but people refer to it a lot as Power SDR IF. Um, but right now, what you're looking at is a uh, uh, the 15 megahertz uh, uh, WWV signal, which I was using to actually calibrate it. And uh, Larry over at Telepost, uh, who is the, the creator of the uh, LP Pan, was super helpful uh, in uh, helping me get this up and running. Uh, to make a long story short, though, so I'm using WWV to calibrate it, uh, along with a couple other things, but it's working flawlessly. Um, there's a lot to this, and I'll actually go into it, but, I mean, the key thing is, is that I got this radio, and uh, with the uh, receive capabilities of uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the software, uh, the Power SDR software, which is pretty incredible. Uh, the filtering on this is amazing, and uh, we'll talk more about that. The other thing that this gives you, which is super cool, is if uh, you go down here and you go to multi-receive and click on that, what that does is it gives me my second VFO. Uh, software based VFO that I can actually listen to and if you look down here there's actually pan controls for uh, splitting the signal left right in different volume levels so I can actually listen to it in two different cans uh, which is pretty nice and uh, I just wanted to show you that I actually got it up and working and uh, it's running pretty well on a really piece of junk computer too it's a, a single core uh, Athlon 64 3400 uh, you know, it's maybe circa like 2005, and uh, once I did a few tweaks, uh, it seems to be working really, really well, so I'm extremely happy on Windows XP, and uh, again, this is just a test machine, but anyways, uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye.